And another emotional vigil in South LA. A heartbroken mother and father are grieving the loss of their two sons killed by a hit and run driver. That suspect still on the loose. KCO News reporter Lori Perez has this report. This is just so sad, especially when you take a look at these two beautiful children. Two year old Damien died this morning, days after his big brother Chris did, both fatally wounded in a hit and run crash one week ago. Their mom just got out of the hospital last night, so tonight their parents came here for the first time since the crash. They took like half of my life away, man. That guy that did this took like half of my life away. There is no greater love or loss than a parent's. Debbie Amayo and Mario Pineda huddled together Monday at a heartbreaking sidewalk memorial. Their pain so clear as loved ones prayed for the souls of their sons, 13 year old Chris and two year old Damien. The teen died hours after a hit and run crash a week ago. The toddler held on until this morning. A mother should never bury their children. A mom should never bury their children. And it hurts me so bad that I didn't lose just one. I lost two of my sons. Amaya was in the car with her two sons and daughter on her way to drop them off at their grandmother's house, she said, when police say the driver of a speeding Mercedes blew a red light at the corner of 111th Place and Main Street in South L.A. Witnesses say he stopped and got out, but then fled. A week later, police are still looking for him. I don't understand why this happened, Dad Pineda told us. It's destroyed their family and friends. Their son's classmates need therapy. Meanwhile, he and his wife are trying to comfort each other and their 16-year-old daughter, who was also in the crash but not seriously hurt. She even told me she felt bad because she made it alive. And I told her not to feel like that. You know, not, not to feel like that. And she misses her brothers. I didn't see it coming, man. <laughs> I didn't see it coming. The boy's father is begging the driver to come forward and do the right thing, saying he has no bitterness toward him. The mom, at least for now, is less forgiving. The family and police are asking for the public's help in finding the suspect. In South LA, I'm Lori Perez, KCAL News. That is just devastating, and I hope that at some point they are able to get justice for that family.